In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Revealy software. Now, the Revealy software is used to basically um, analyze reviews for any given Amazon product. So what we need to do first is find a product to analyze the reviews for. And the most useful, basically most useful thing for this software is trying to identify the problems as well as the benefits of a given product by looking at the reviews for a given um, a product niche or something like that. And then what you do is you take that information and you use it to come up with new product ideas that you could possibly private label and sell on Amazon. And so what we really needed to do here is have a tool that will give you this amazing ability to do it really quickly. And I actually designed this software based on Chris Guthrie's, um, the way that he actually uh, goes out and figures out how to come up with a new product to sell on Amazon. So that's how I came up with this software by using his method. So let's quickly do this. Now, uh, what I did is I just brought up the, one, the top 100 analyzer here <clears throat> and I had a saved file of a bunch of different categories I analyzed in here. So the the point here is I want to basically find a product that we want to analyze the reviews for. And and you can just see in the category section here, I, I went and found a bunch of really deep categories and I use the manual select method. So if you're not familiar with the uh, top 100 analyzer software, then go ahead and go to the help videos in your membership area of Amasuite to learn how to use a software. So I'm not going to demo it here, I'm just going to quickly show you um, how to grab a ASIN number. Now ASIN stands for the Amazon um, standard identification number, which is just it's just basically a product ID. I'm sure you guys already know all that stuff, but <laughs> anyhow, um, you can see here I've I've got like a bunch of categories: a combination of grill brushes and scrapers. And you know, go down here: grill brushes, scrapers, charcoal starters, uh, grills and grates, all sorts of different stuff here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sort by the main category rank. Actually, what we'll do is do some filters. <laughs> so let's bring up the filter button here and I'm just going to add, so for the main rank, I want to, let's go, let's say, sorry, not the main category, the main rank. Now let's go, I don't know, greater than, let's say a thousand. So I'm looking at um, uh, products that have a main rank for the main category that they're listed in of greater than 1,000. You know, anything under 1,000, you're going to be dealing with a lot of competition trying to outsell those sellers. So it's a little difficult. Not impossible, but more difficult. So let's go ahead and add another one here. Main rank. Let's say less than, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I don't know, 4,000. Between 1,000 and 4,000. And we'll go apply. So we can actually just put this to the side here so I can go apply and you can see it happen here. And we've limited it within this rank. And let's just go and sort by reviews. And let's take a look at one here. This is a pretty high rank, 2000. Let's check out what this one is right here. Let's go ahead and take a look. You see that it has a lot of um, reviews. <clears throat> but what we tend to do in this sort of method is actually look at um, products that have a low rating so that you can sort of identify the problems with that particular product and then go out and find one that will solve those problems so actually what I'm going to do is sort by rating here so you can see here we got a 2.9 a 3 and I, I what I like to do is I I look at um, the lowest ratings but look at one over here that has a lot of comments like 252 comments for this particular one here let's go ahead and take a look at what this is all about so let's click on this here and you can see that this is a, a gas propane level indicator. So there's obviously something wrong with this. And this is probably a product you can private label and find um, somewhere like on Alibaba. <clears throat> if you actually go and look, or what, sorry, look at Chris Guthrie's uh, new course there on Amazon Selling, he shows you how to do all this sort of stuff. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and use that one. So I'm going to go and I'm going to right click and copy selected ASIN. So it's going to copy that right there. So select that and copy it. Now if that doesn't work, you can just select it and just go control C on your keyboard and it will actually just copy that cell as well. So let's go back to Revealy and in here Amazon product ASIN. So right click and paste. And then all we got to do is we click go. And you can see here we can actually um, extract based on, um, you know, 
the maximum no number of reviews you want to get. So I'm just, I just select all, so I want to get all of them. And what it's doing here is it's processing, um, it's extracted from each page. So each page of comments or reviews, I should say, uh, contains 10 reviews. So, you know, there's 254 reviews, so that'll be 26 pages. It doesn't take too long to grab them all. In fact, I've actually used a software to download like 9,000 reviews. It does take a little while to download that many reviews, but it after it's done and using the word analyzer, it's lightning fast, so it's pretty cool. You'll see here in a second. You can also download um, based on two different criteria here. So you can download them based on uh, most helpful product reviews. So that's the, the first ones that will be downloaded. So starting from the beginning to the end here, this is based on the most helpful reviews. And if you actually just right click, you'll see you have a bunch of options here. We can go and see all the product reviews. So if I just click that, it will open up a browser here. Let me just get it into view. <clears throat> and it will show all of the reviews for that given product. So it shows you basically the review page on Amazon. And as you can see, the most helpful is shown first. So that's what I mean when I say that. So all this, all this review uh, data is actually contained in this graph. So it's much easier to actually see, sorry, not graph, but data tables, what I'm trying to say. It's so much easier to see all the data in a table like this as opposed to, you know, like looking through all these comments. That's just a nightmare, especially when there's a thousand. It takes you forever. So let me show you some of the cool stuff here. So again, let's go back to the right click. You can see an individual review by right clicking. It goes right to that review, and that's the only thing on this page. You also see the comments for that given review as well. You can also right click and you can just see the product or you can just go ahead and click on the ASIN number there and you can see see the product as well. Um, you can right click and copy the items just like all the other software programs, copy selected, copy all the reviews if you'd like to, uh, you know, if you, you select that, all the reviews are copied to your clipboard. So if you open up, let's say a notepad or something and right click and paste, you'll see all the reviews are put on uh, each line. So might be useful for whatever you need it for and in this section here what you can do is you can do an instant search so you can click the instant search button and you can uh, start searching things like uh, I don't know like hate you know <laughs> maybe I hate this thing right there's three comments came up you can quickly see what those comments are you can actually just right click and uh, take a look at them so that's what you can use the instant search for um, we also have um, the one click filters here so Let's use let's go through a full example here. So, sorry, before I do that, I do want to explain these columns. So you've got the rating column. It's pretty obvious. This is the rating that the reviewer has given that particular product, and then this is the review message. Over here, we have the total number of votes for that review. So if you actually see on a given um, all the product reviews are, you will see that each review that comes in, people are allowed to comment on it and also vote. So you can see here it says, uh, was this review helpful for you? you? Yes or no. That's considered a vote. And so this particular one has 294 votes total and only 284 of them were voted as helpful. That means 10 of them were not helpful, meaning 10 people actually clicked the no here and then 284 clicked the yes. I don't know if that's the actual review. That probably is the, the review there. Uh, if you could quickly see, yes it is. This is the actual review. <clears throat> so what we can do here is, what I like doing is come in here and I'll select an instant filter. I want to see all of the reviews that are less than four. So that would be a rating of one, two, or three. So I click that and reduce that down to 118 from 200 and something. And we can go to the word analyzer. You can see there's two tabs at the top. So let's go over to the word analyzer and in the word analyzer what it's going to do here it's quite unique and this is very powerful through all these reviews that you see here there's going to be certain word combinations that will be repeated and so if you think about that the idea here is you want to find out what people are talking about within all these reviews really quickly you can imagine trying to go through 250 comments manually reading every single one of them trying to find common issues that are wrong with the product oh, think about that it would take you a really long time and trust me um, actually a lot of people sorry not a lot of people Chris does that a lot 
and he says it takes forever so that's why we came up with this product so that's the magic of the word analyzer so what you do here is you select the minimum number of words that you want to have in the word combo so you'll see what I mean I'll just select three for now and I want to select the minimum number of times that that word combo will actually appear in all those reviews that I have here in this data table so all we have to do is just click this generate word stats and it goes out and it pumps out a fancy algorithm I designed in the background to figure out all this good stuff so this is pretty cool and it's actually really fun to play with so here we go now we have all the pause all the actual three word combinations that the software has found so every single three word combination out of all 105 of these reviews were found right not only that the average rating now this is an average running average sorry a uh, moving average is what this is it's not quite the same as an average it's a little tiny bit lower but still gives you a good idea of the average um, for all those um, reviews that it contained this word and you can see over here the minimum this is the minimum number of sorry this is the occurrences that this particular word combo has been found in corresponding reviews so what I like to do is sort by the number of occurrences and you can see this in the tank this word combo occurred 11 times with an average rating of 3 for those 11 reviews now if I right click and I select see corresponding reviews what that will do is create a uh, little HTML file that's on your computer and you can quickly see all those reviews and I'm using Firefox so it doesn't matter what browser you're using but this is really cool if you want to see the exact um, uh, word combo what you can do on your keyboard is go control F and this is the same for all web browsers for and this brings up the find tool so you can see down here at the bottom on Firefox it brings it up here and now just go control C on your keyboard or right click and paste and then go highlight all for Firefox and now I can see where those keywords are occurring in those exact reviews that it found so now you can see just how amazing this software is it blows my mind every time I use it it's so cool I love it so now you can really dig in to the um, the reviews really quickly and see well what the heck is wrong with this thing right because uh, you know we selected all the reviews that had really low rating and then we analyzed the word all the three word combos and we found that in the tank like it may not make sense here but once you look into the actual comment and see what surrounding this word combo you start to figure it out about the level of the propane tank in reading gas pressure um, it looks like there's a problem with reading the level of that gas thing so bottom line I ran out of propane in the middle of barbecuing for a company definitely not worth the money it looks like there's something wrong with the gas level I'm um, I'm guessing that little level on there is not very accurate so that's a problem well guess what you can go outsource another propane thingy here whatever this is a little gauge thing and make sure you find one that has a better gauge so it works better maybe a digital one for example could be a better seller so that just gives you an idea now this is just an example right I sort of just found there but you can imagine the possibilities here so this is where it gets fun so I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out get little buttons down here you can clear I'm gonna try a different word combo just a different number of words so let's try four minimum minimum of occurrences of two you can set this to say five just takes a second here now sometimes you may not get any results because it may not find uh, with that word any word combos that have that minimum number of occurrences and here we go we didn't find anything so what we have to do is uh, just reset here and go and try two and also the more reviews you have in the review section the more words it will identify so you can see here to tell how much left in the tank how much gas is you could kind of tell the idea here that you know what this thing is not working it's not telling you the, the amount of gas that's available in the tank so that's where you'd find problems so some other quick features in here you know you can save um, bring it up here you can save your review files here if we just let's delete all the filters there you can save as a data file now the data file 
is is a file that will only be able to be saved and loaded into this software into the review section. So there's actually a review data file. Then in the word analyzer, you have a word analyzer file. Then you can save it out to uh, you know a comma separated value or be a tx or txt a text file. Excuse me. And I also integrated my fancy little feature here, which I love. You know, you go to save of this data. So let's say if we saved it like this. And we wanted to figure out where did I just save that file? You know how annoying that is? I, I do that all the time. Can't remember where you saved it. Well, this little handy feature here will bring up your Explorer and show you exactly where you just saved that file. So that's a handy. And that works on Mac as well. So you also have the filtering options in here. So you can do the filtering, instant filters there as well. And you also have the instant search. So if you want to, you know, search something as you type. It'll automatically do it as you're typing. So, got that little feature in there as well. You can delete out your filters if you've got them. For example, if you do a, a rating of equal three, you want to delete out that that actual filter that you just did. You can just click delete filters, and it and it clears it out for you. So you can see here, this is a really simple piece of software. There's really not much more to it, but the real magic here you have to understand is the fact that you can quickly analyze words at the click of a button without going through thousands of comments. And you're just amazed at what people will say and like the, the word combos that pop up. It's such a fun little piece of software to play with and you're definitely gonna love it and you're definitely gonna find some hidden golden gems for product ideas. So Revealy is gonna really reveal awesome product ideas that you can come up with as an Amazon seller. So that's basically it in this little short video. Thanks for watching and enjoy using the Revealy software.